So I'm so excited about the competition going on this year, um, and we're very excited to have you with us today, Dr. Loebner. It's the 23rd annual uh, competition. Um, for those who aren't quite familiar with it, what can you tell us about it, and what, what can we expect this Saturday? Well, that's the uh, Turing test in which the judges are faced with a computer screen. One half of, one half of the screen is a chatbot behind it. The other half is a human at interacting with the judge. And the task of the judge is to decide which half is the human and which half is the computer. And the object for the chatbot is to fool the judge into believing that it is really the human. And this is known as the Turing test. Uh, Turing, Alan Turing, the uh, British mathematician who helped world, win World War II, said that if a computer could fool a judge into thinking it's a human, then we may say the machine is thinking. And this is known as the Turing test for artificial intelligence. Yeah, Alan Turing actually did say that once the thinking machine method has started, it's not going to take too long to outstrip our feeble powers. Are, are we there yet? I don't know. Well, no, we're not there yet. I'm, I don't remember Turing saying that, but he may very well have. But uh, no, we're some distance away, I would say. Okay. No, well, danger, no danger in the immediate future. Uh, hi, Mitsuku. Uh, you're starring on Head Squeeze today. Do you know what Head Squeeze is? So this is obviously being fed into Mitsuku's brain. Steve, you actually created Mitsuku, didn't you? That's right, yes. Um, originally, I used to make um, have dance music just as a hobby. And um, I uh, um, sort of got into the uh, world of chatbots after seeing one on a, a fellow producer's uh, music site. Um, so I've decided to put one on my site. And I found that I was getting more people coming to visit me for the chatbot than for the uh, actual music. So I decided to knock the music on the head and um, concentrate solely on the chatbot. Um, I uh, was approached then by a, a games company, uh, Mousebreaker.com, who uh, wanted me to create uh, this Mitsuku chatbot for their website. And I've been sort of concentrating on it ever since. It's, uh, it is just a hobby for me. It's just something I do in my spare time. But it's something I, I really enjoy doing. Nice work, Steve. It actually answered the question about head squeeze accurately. Oh, really? Oh, good. Was, good. Uh, Could you read the answer, a, please? Looks at cool things in science. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's Very that's impressive. a that's, that's a bang on description. What? But based on, I mean, that was a spot on answer there, Steve. Do you think? Uh, do you think there might be a chance then that uh, Mitsuku could take the win this year? Well, one of the um, key things about entering the Lovner Prize is making sure it's uh, it, it can uh, respond accurately to the judges. So in the run-up to the prize, once I realized I was in the finals, as I was trying to find out as much about the competition as possible, including any kind of sponsors or uh, who was going to be attending and things like that. And I tried to include as much of that in the, um, in the chat box as possible, just in case somebody comes back and says, uh, what do you think to uh, Dr. Loebner's shirt this year, or something like that. <laughs> it can uh, produce a, a, a reasonable answer that would hopefully uh, convince the judges that it, they are talking to a human. I should bring you in now, uh, Dr. Uh, Bruce Wilcox, uh, all the way uh, in California at 6 a.m. Thanks for joining us. Um, you've actually won this prize twice before, haven't you? Yes, I have, and came in second last year. Second last year. You won in 2010 with Suzette and Rosette in uh, 2011, and you have Rose entered into this year's competition. Uh, right. what, what is it about Rose that's, uh, that's different from the other three? Rose has more advanced... Uh, capabilities for understanding meaning, different kinds of things that she can manage so that she can deal with more reduced context because humans chat a lot, not saying everything because they're assuming you understood what was going on before. Okay, and so what do you, how do you fancy the chances this year now you've seen Mitsuku briefly in action? Well, I think her chances are excellent. She's the best conversational bot I've gotten so far. So, barring unforeseen problems, which happen a lot in the Loebners, <laughs> Uh, she should do well. So it's a 25-minute interrogation. Do they go the whole way through the interrogation, or is it at Well, the... it's split up, of course. They have, they have two screens, the left screen and the right screen. So although it's 25 minutes, if they give equal, uh, e equal time to both sides, it would be about 12 minutes. Okay. And uh, there, have been com there have been competitions where the judges just started. They recognized which was the 
computer and then kept chatting with the human because it was more interesting. I mean, it depends on the judge, it depends on the computer, it depends on the, the human.